So I'm going to go through all the things that they do and be hungry. Both you and the dog, they need to exercise more. And I want to talk just a moment about protein. Suppose I said to you that the score between the Orioles and Tampa Bay was five. You'd think, well, you got more information or you're stupid. And so it is with protein. Simply knowing the amount of protein is only half the ball score. You must also know protein quality. Quality is determined by the amino acids that make up all proteins. There's two kinds, essential and non-essential. Non-essential you can make yourself. Essential must be in the diet. And the amount and kind of essential in, in a protein determines its quality. All proteins can be ranked in terms of biologic value. Egg is the most perfect protein we know of. So it must become a whole creature all by itself with no further input. Egg is arbitrarily assigned a value of 100. And then you can go down the list. Milk, you can see, will become the sole nutrition for a mammal. It's a high quality protein. And here, I point out we're talking about the protein in these feeds, not the whole feed itself. And so below 75, you have insufficient biologic value to support the growth of a mammal. And so if you're going to be vegetarian, you must be very careful about balancing your amino acids. This concept can be uh, compared to a barrel with the, the staves that are different sizes. The barrel will only hold as much water as its shortest stave. So too, the quality of a protein is limited by the most limiting amino acid. So when you look at a bag of dog food and it says 28% protein, it is completely possible that that is lousy protein and a diet that is 15% protein is a better diet. The other concept I want to uh, inflict upon you is that of dry matter. When you buy a can of dog food, it's 75% water and 25% dry matter. A bag of dry dog food is 10% water, but we compare all diets on a dry matter basis. For example, here is a can of dog food. It will tell you on the can that it's 75% water. You must do the math yourself. It is therefore 25% dry matter. You just take 100 minus the water and the rest is dry matter. It says on the can that it's 10% protein. What we really want to know is that 10% is what part of 25? This diet on a dry matter basis is 40% protein. And so you must always compare diets on a dry matter basis. I want to talk briefly about a subject that's near and dear to my heart, adaptability. We have, as well as our pets, a genome that has been perfected over four billion years. And it has uh, become exquisite at dealing with lack. Obviously, oxygen we can only do without for a couple of minutes. Water we can do for a week. You can go for months on the most meager of food, and it's because of adaptability. These tiger cubs were weaned onto a dry diet, and they were raised to adulthood on a dry diet, which is blasphemy, you might think, taking a carnivore and raising it on a dry diet. It wasn't necessarily optimum, but it, it's because of adaptability. Their, their teeth were fine, despite not having any bones ever in their life. I worked for a company that sold a polar bear diet and we got the complaint that the polar bears had loose stools. It was a dry diet. We did an exhaustive digestibility on polar bear stools, and what we found is polar bears can digest carbohydrate just fine because of adaptability. It's not that it's the optimum, uh, but you know you can eat at McDonald's one day and this doesn't shorten your life. This is Rojo. He was rescued by the animal clinic. Um, he was, uh, within hours, they estimated of death. And my, my wife saw this story in the newspaper, and in, she called the clinic and insisted that Rojo come to our house just for recovery. 
Roe had 10 years of recovery at our house, and he had a long, happy life. And the reason that he could go for six months with essentially no food and then go on to a full life is because of adaptability. Let's review this section then. And you can read as well as I. Carnivores uh, eat plant nutrients too. Enough is plenty in the science of nutrition. Veterinary medicine is crisis oriented. They're, they don't have time to do a preventative program. Uh, natural can make a difference, as can raw. Uh, protein quality is just as important as quantity. You must understand dry matter. All species have an exquisite ability to deal with lack and a very poor ability to deal with constant excess. 40% of all pets are overweight. And I don't consider any coincidence that 40% of all Americans are overweight. 